Hey, thanks for checking out my video series on school districts around Indianapolis and the surrounding counties. I'm Brian. I'm a realtor here in Indianapolis. I'm a parent of two former students in Indianapolis schools, and I'm also a former teacher. I taught for 20 years in the Center Grove School District, so I do know from firsthand experience what makes up good school districts. So what we're going to do here is we're going to analyze Marion County. Now, Marion County is the biggest county in the whole state. Essentially, it's the city of Indianapolis. So we're talking about a population of around a million people. With those million people, with the city of Indianapolis, there are 11 public school districts. There are several, and I mean several, private schools as well. And they're making up about 132,000 students on a daily basis. The majority of the 11 public school districts in Marion County surround the city. We're known as the Circle City for a reason. You have, of course, IPS, which is the largest school district in the whole state. That is Indianapolis Public Schools. The others, for the most part, circle the city. We often refer to them as the Donut Township Schools. Those school districts include Beach Grove, Decatur Township, Franklin Township, Lawrence Township, Perry Township, Pike Township, Warren Township, Washington Township, Wayne Township, and Speedway. Add into IPS with that, and you're talking about 132,000 students on a daily basis. The data that I'm going to look at is high schools. Of course, there are a lot of elementaries and middle schools that make up Marion County, but I'm going to focus on the high schools because the data that I'm concerned about is to help my child or my student for future success, and high school is probably the most valuable there because that is right before they wind up going out into the world as what we hope to be is a productive adult. So of those 11 school districts, and of course all the private schools as well, we're looking at 46 high schools in and around Indianapolis. I'm going to rank them, not really rank, I'm going to list them in order based on four categories. Now, now those four categories are graduation pathways completion, employment and enrollment, diploma strength, and median income. In my very first video in this series, I go into depth about what all of those mean. So if you really want to know the nitty gritty of all that, go back and watch that. It's a shorter video. But for now, let's get into it. The first category we're going to focus on is graduation pathways completion. Now, this is the percent of students in grade 12 who completed their graduation requirements. And of the 46 schools, we have eight of them where 100% of those students got the graduation pathways completion including Colonial Christian, Calvary Christian, Crystal House, Heron Riverside, MTI School of Knowledge, Crispus Attics, and Purdue Polytech. 100% obviously awesome. Uh, we have several schools that are also in the high, high 90% range, all the way up to 99.2% with Indiana Math and Science, Horizon Christian and Short Ridge, and Indiana Connections Career, all at 99%. And the list goes on and on. We do unfortunately have a few schools that actually fell below 70% in graduation pathways completion, including Tinley Accelerated, Victory College Prep, and Indianapolis Metropolitan. Um, so I don't know how much of that data is reported. If they're a public school, it all should be reported to the Indiana Department of Education. But when you're down in the 59% range or the 44% range, as you see here on the screen, I don't know if that's a misreporting. I don't know if some data was left out. Um, that's just the information I don't have. I'm just reporting what I got directly from the Department of Education. Second category we're going to talk about is the Core 40 or higher. Now, Core 40 is the absolute basic classes and curriculum that a student needs to take in order to graduate high school. So these are the number of students who have graduated with at least a core 40, some of them have an honors diploma or a tech diploma, uh, international baccalaureate diploma, um, whatever it might be, they've done at least the core 40. And out of the list of 46, there are 18 schools that have 100% of that, which is fantastic. That's almost 50%. So uh, when it comes to Marion County, they're rocking when it comes to the core 40 diplomas. Outside of the 100%, we also have several that are in the high 90% range, 
And honestly, when you go down to 23 on the list, which is exactly 50%, we're still looking at 98% of the Marion County schools are hitting that core 40. Out of the 46 schools, 45 of them are 80% or higher, which I would classify as really good with core 40. There is one school, Indiana Connection, that was below 83%. It was actually at 65%. Uh, but again, Indianapolis or Marion County schools are doing well getting their students to the core 40 diploma. The third category is employment and enrollment. Now, this is the percent of students from grade 12 who within a year of getting out of high school are either employed or enrolled somewhere within the state of Indiana. And that is a key factor in this statistic. They have to be somewhere within the state of Indiana. Now there are three schools on this list that don't have information for employment and enrollment. So Colonial Christian, Calvary Christian, and Crystal House, all three of which are private or charter schools. They don't have data to report on employment and enrollment. Uh, that could be just because private schools don't necessarily report all the information. Also could be they haven't been in existence long enough to have information to share uh, for this particular statistic. The highest on the list is Ben Davis University at 92%, uh, followed by Heron Riverside and Ron Colley, which is a private Catholic high school on the south side. Um, Lutheran, another private school at 90%, Indianapolis Metro, Bishop Chatard and Speedway, along with MTI School of Knowledge, all at 90%. We have George Washington, Hoosier College and Career, and the International School, all hitting the low 70s or even down to the 50% range when it comes to employment enrollment within the state within a year. Okay, final category is median income. These are students that within five years of their expected graduation date, they are what's described as employed and has to be within the state of Indiana and again it's within five years of their expected graduation. Now from this list 17 of the schools don't have information to report on this. Once again private schools don't necessarily gather that information. There are also some schools that haven't been in existence for five years so they don't have that particular information to share from their data. Uh, so as far as top of the list with this category, Heritage Christian, again, it is a private Christian school, $46,000 is the uh, median income for their students five years after high school. Now, as a parent, if I'm looking at this and thinking, all right, my child graduates at 18 and now they're 23 years old and they're making $46,000 a year, I think that's fantastic. Uh, I see a 46 year old or 46. I see a 23 year old making $46,000, someone who is able to sustain their own adult life, living on their own somewhere. And I am really happy with that as a parent. Uh, the next few on the list, Bishop Chittard is over 43,000. Brebuff is over 42,000. Lutheran is over 41,000. And Ron Colley is over 40,000. Now, Interesting to note that all five of the top schools on this list are private high schools. So take that for what it's worth. Make your own conclusions about that as you will. But I thought that was kind of interesting to note. As we get into the upper $30,000 range, you have Cathedral, Covenant Christian, Franklin Central. Now, Franklin Central, there's the first public high school on the list uh, coming in at just over 38000 Perry Meridian, which is actually where my children went to school. Uh, comes in next as public schools at 36,000. So that's all good stuff. Uh, the bottom of the list, Tinley Accelerated is the low $30,000 range. Uh, Victory College Prep is around 26,000 and Indianapolis Metro is around 22,000. So as you take this information and think about, do you wanna make a move to a new house? Well, number one, if that's what you wanna do, reach out to me if you need a realtor because I will certainly help you with that. If you need some help looking at data, if you want to know more about these schools, because as we know, schools aren't just about data. Schools are about a lot more when it comes to well-rounded students, when it comes to uh, offering extracurricular activities and school discipline and lots of factors go into choosing a school. It's not just about these statistics that I'm looking at. And if you go to the Indiana Department of Education website, which I have linked here, you will find all of this information and more. So you can draw your own conclusions. If you'd like more info on any of these schools or school districts, feel free to reach out to me if you so desire. 
Love to help you make a move if that's what you're looking to do to get yourself into a new, possibly better school district. And I have information about Perry Township, which is where I live. So if that's a particular school district you want to know about, let me know. Thanks for watching.